David? David? Okay, no, just set the fucking thing up. Okay, it's called doing your fucking job, Sam. I'm hanging up on you now. Can I get you guys anything else? No, we're good, sweetheart. Thank you very much. I over the quiet this morning. <clears throat> What do you think about it? This dream I had last night. This dream you had last night, it wouldn't happen to be like Kate, would it? No. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's why you've been all contemplative this morning. Dude, are we gonna go down that well again? Kate's gone. Okay, she left you. She kicked me out. Exactly. My point is this. I'm through being that friend. What friend? That, that friend. That, that, that friend that, that tells you it's going to be OK. That, that friend that listens to your, to your sob stories about how good things used to be. That friend that pulls out his nipple every time he thinks you might be hungry. Kate, okay? shitty things happen, Paul. And they happen. 
So let's move on. You done? That depends. Are you? Like I said, it wasn't about Kate. All right. All right, I'll bite. What was the dream about? No. What was the dream about? Never mind. If you don't want to hear it, don't worry about it. Okay, Paul, don't fucking be like that, all right? Okay, I'm fucking sorry. Just tell me what you dreamt about. Clown. <laughs> A clown? That's creepy. Dead clown. <laughs> okay, even creepier. <laughs> Jack and our kids. <sighs> parents took us to the circus. There's this clown who would come out and entertain in between acts. Not like a brightly colored clown with a you know, rainbow wig and shit. This was a hobo clown. Sad face, tattered jacket, blanked at the end of a broom handle. That sounds like a hoot, man. But he was funny. I mean, he would trip over things, walk into shit. Anyway, for his finale, he comes out with this jug of moonshine and this stick that, you know, like a pussy willow on fire. He takes a swig of the moonshine, holds the flame up to his mouth, and pulls out this huge fireball. So he comes up to Jack and me, right? And Jack is just, like, loving it. Like, I've never seen the kid so happy. He takes his big swig, holds the thing up to his face, but he comes back. What comes back? The flame. Either he didn't blow hard enough or there's a breeze or something, but the whole fucking thing comes back and his head catches on fire. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm serious, man. He just, he just goes up. His jacket, his face, his hair, his nose is melting, everything. He was so close we could smell the flesh burning. But you want to hear the most fucked up part? We laughed. I mean, he, look, his whole stick was hurting himself, right? So. We thought it was all part of the act. These other clowns are coming out and they're trying to put him out with seltzer bottles, but it didn't fucking work. I mean, he just, once he got going, man, he just, he went up. I think he died. Anyway, he showed up in my dream last night. And it, got me thinking, you know, like, like if that was me, if I was that clown, and I was burning to death, and the last thing that I heard on this earth was a bunch of kids laughing at me, what would I do? I don't know, what would you do? I would wait. I would wait until those kids grew up. And then I'd come back and I'd kill every single one. What do you think? What do I think? Uh, I think you need help, brother. <laughs> I, what are you thinking? I think I'm gonna write it.
okay? Oh, yeah. You're not done, are you? <laughs> Come see for yourself. I am so proud of you, baby. place to stay and you treat like a fucking pigsty. I'm gonna send over Rose in my cleaning lady. She does a kick-ass job. Oh, it's fine. I'm good. You're good? Brother, I was watching cops the other night and they raided a fucking crack house. I was clearing the shithole. Is that the episode your mom was in? <laughs> That's good. You want some coffee? No. No, I can't stay long. I have a cab waiting. Where are you going? Airport, then L.A. Yeah, I have a meet and greet with some director. Warm of you. That explains the haircut, the cheesy sub. <laughs> so, Punchy the Clown, give me a pitch on Punchy. I don't really have a pitch worked out. Uh, just give me something. Give me a little pitch. Uh, clown dies, comes back from the dead, kills everybody. How does he kill Suicide. People are scared of clowns, right? Why? Clowns are colorful. They're supposed to make us laugh, not frighten us. Well, maybe it's because when you laugh at a clown, it's at their expense. Maybe clowns deep down don't like that so much. Maybe they've been coming back from the dead, killing people who laughed at their misery since... Whatever. By suicide. I'm making it look like suicide. Suggesting what, Paul? That no one's ever killed themselves? That was always these pissed off clowns? Yeah. Why? Why doesn't he just like slash them up? Uh, because that's been done before. Audiences aren't gonna, they're not gonna be satisfied with a, a killer who just runs around and kills people. It's kind of stupid, kind of, as they might say, uh, pedantic. What the fuck's pedantic? It's a writer word, not an actor word. Anyway, um, there has to be something creative and creepy about how the clown kills people, and it's got to be something that people can relate to. I mean, everybody's considered suicide at least once. So, as you're punching the clown, make it look like they off themselves. He sneaks up behind you, and smacks you unconscious with a bag of oranges. Then he waits. What's he waiting for? You to wake up. He wants you to see yourself die. He waits until you regain consciousness, then he shoves a bunch of pills down your throat or tosses you off a bridge or whatever. How's it end? I haven't figured that one out yet. How fast can you write this thing? Um, first draft, maybe a month. Maybe less. Uh, Where's your girlfriend hanging these days? Kitchen. Why? Hello, oh, sweetheart. What's that? Day of your meeting. What meeting? Call the producer friend of mine. He wants to meet. About what? Your script. What I haven't written yet? That's, that's 18 days from now. Just make sure you write me as lead. I haven't written anything in two years. You wrote last night. Wrote with a couple of thoughts, not even an outline. I was going to ask you, what's up with the bag of oranges? Oh, I read somewhere they don't cause bruises. Is that true? Uh, hey, I know this guy. Yeah, it's Michael. Michael. Through my bachelor party. All right, Michael. I didn't recognize him without the blazer and the attitude. Right. Mark should read, having one of those lives. What, you pissing your coffee or something? Something like that. 
Shit, I gotta get going. Paul? Thanks. Okay. All right. So I'll be back in a couple days. Keep writing. I will, but I... 18 days. Oh. Man. Dude! Hey, man, can you buy some smokes? Come on, man. Come on, man. Just buy the smokes. Hey, hey. Hey, man. Um, can you buy some smokes? Yeah, sure. What the fuck are you looking at? Nothing. Hey, did you get him? No. Hey!
back? Yeah, I just got it. Oh, listen, I can't really talk right now. I'm fucking tired, but, uh, do you want to grab some coffee tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I should probably be right. Uh, I won't keep you long. Besides, you could probably use the break. Okay. All right, cool. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Flying solo today? Excuse me? Your friend is not coming? Oh, no, no, he's, he's coming. He's late. As always. Oh. Yeah. I'm Casey, by the way. Paul. I wanted to introduce myself since you come here all the time. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. So, what do you do? Um, well, uh, what do you think I do? Well, you're not wearing a suit. And I don't see a tool belt. So you're either an artist or you're unemployed. <laughs> uh, well, both, actually. Really? Uh, yeah, I'm a writer. Oh, like books and stuff? No, uh, screenplays. Really? That's awesome. I'm a writer, too. Really? Yeah. Well, music. Oh, OK. Oh, actually, my band is playing this Friday. You should uh, come check us out. Sure, that's out. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that sounds good. So that's how you know Dave Hawking. Through your screenwriting? Yeah. Yeah, I wrote uh, Screaming Against the Wind. No way. <gasps> I love that film. You wrote that? Yeah. You're a genius. Oh, about that. The dialogue is so good, and the script is just so much better than that other crap that comes out. Thank you. Thank you. You left my brother to rot, and now I'm sending you to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. This is amazing. Hey, do you think I could uh, get an autograph? Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I wrote uh, Screaming um, screaming Against the Wind. Oh, that's awesome. Is he single? David? Yeah, I don't like beating around the bush. I, Is he? You know he's gay, right? He doesn't act gay. Yeah, I know, but... Uh... Oh, so you two are... No, 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 I'm, I'm straight. He's not, but... Oh, yeah, right. Don't... Uh, Say anything, because, you know, the whole image thing. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, Coffee? Yeah, I'd love one. Hey. So, how was our life? Palm trees and pelicans, my friend. <laughs> and you're meeting? How'd that go? Ah, off to the ballpark. Oh, really? And I had a conference call with Chris. Very well. Chris? Yeah, uh, the producer, the guy you meet in like, you know, two weeks. <sighs> yeah, anyways, dude, dude, it's gonna be awesome. I pitched him the idea of Punchy. He is fucking psyched. Yeah, like about that. I. I, I, I just. I'm, it's. I don't think it's gonna work. There you go. <laughs> what, what do you mean it's not gonna work? It's just, it's not, I, I've been coming at it from, from, from all kinds of different angles, and it just, no matter what I do, it just, it just kind of runs out of gas. Runs out of gas? Oh, the, that whole fucking clown thing, I mean, it's scary as shit, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, it's, it's a creepy idea, I mean, it's all there is, really, you know, it's, it's just, it's not there. Uh, 
You know, when I was in school, I'd have to write these big ass term papers. And they'd give me all semester to do it, but knowing me, I'd leave it to the last couple of days. Now, what I'd end up doing is I'd just lock myself in my room until it was done. What, you, so you think I should just lock myself in the half-finished display model and magically the script is just gonna... Uh, no, okay. I'm saying find a fucking way to get this thing done. Why? Because I fucking said so, that's why. I'm gonna have my way to set this thing up for you. I'm gonna fucking phone call, David. You fucking owe me. Just write the goddamn script. What are you doing? Thinking about what was said yesterday. Yeah, about that. Um, I'm gonna write it. Yeah? Yep. Very cool. You can help me bring some of these boxes in if you want. Or not. What is all this stuff? You're gonna lock me in. <laughs> I'm not gonna lock you in. Why not? It's your idea. Okay, locking yourself in, okay, it's just an expression, okay? You don't literally lock yourself in. Then what's to prevent me from leaving? Well, I don't know, self-fucking control? Can you just not stay in because you will it? Maybe. It would be a hell of a lot easier if I don't have a choice. And take my stereo and all that shit, too. Gotta make sure I clear myself of any and all distractions. Okay, Paul, I got some potential buyers coming in next week. What am I supposed to tell them? I don't give a fuck what you tell them. You gave me a date, give them one. Nobody gets in here to the 11th. What if there's a fire or something? I'll jump. You'll jump, okay, and I'll be waiting downstairs with a spatula. No. <laughs> Paul, no, I, I, you trapped in here like a fucking animal? No. I could be bounded in a nutshell and find myself a king of infinite space. Or not that I have bad dreams. I need to write this script, all right, even if it kills me. How are you? I'm 
good, I'm good, actually. I'm, uh, I'm writing a movie. Yeah, yeah. Interior circus tent, day. The Ryder family fights their way to the crowded bleachers while scouting for a place to sit in this one ring big top. Jack, seven, bright eyes, finds... Sam, give me the good news, brother. They went with someone else for the war movie. Who? Some kid from Ohio. They did offer you a smaller part, though. The mess cook? I told them I'd talk to you first. You should take this, David. You still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm still here. Look, I know it's not a lot of money, but he's a young director. He's on his way up. In fact, it's a four-day shoot for Mexico, <laughs> David. What do you think? What, 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 do, we, what do I think? Uh... <laughs> I think you should call those pieces of shit and tell them to take that off and shove out their fucking asses. That's what I think. Okay, calm down, David. No, Sam, you fucking calm down. You, you know what? You're fucking fired. No, David. Fuck you, piece. In a while. Close the fuck. 
fucking book, man. What did you do? I was Jesus, Paul, I can't believe you didn't consult me about this. Paul, I can't deal with this right now. I think people actually asked me what I saw in you. So where are you going? Get it off me, please. Tell me where are you going? Florida, okay? Yeah. Get it off. Why are you going to Florida? For double A baseball? For viewers who may not know, recovering alcoholics now have their own baseball league. Double A, not AA loser. Take it off. Not till you tell me that you love me. Fuck off. Ooh, you swore on time, Mom. Fuck you, you had your chance. Don't, don't fucking sit there and judge me, okay? I'm on it. I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. Okay? It happens sometimes. And when it happens, you gotta grease the wheels a little bit. And by the way, I don't owe you shit, okay? I wrote that fucking movie. But everything I fucking had... Where would you fucking be without that movie? It made you a fucking star. Which means that you owe me. Don't worry, I'm still writing you a solution. wondering 
how you've made it. How did I deserve the honor of being included in Paul Twist's latest masterpiece? Well, I'll tell you. Kate, your performance in our marriage was absolutely fucking devastating. I mean, you, you killed it. You really killed it. Rusty, you're working high school to serve some kind of award. And Michael, I gotta say, the about face you managed to pull off in our friendship. Huh. November, I'm casting you in a hunch, but sweetheart, I have a feeling you're gonna do just fine. Over there is David. He will be likable, yet strong, appealing to women, tough. Blah, 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 blah. He's got a test well, so there's really not too much I can do there. Have all of you met Punchy? There he is. They all be working with him very, very closely. Yes, November. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, could, could you repeat that? Kate and Michael were talking. Do I have to separate you two? Well, can you please show some respect for your fellow actors? Yes, November. You were asking. Very good question. You are a natural at this already. I can tell you're going to be just great. November, you will be playing the fantasy role. It requires you to be, A, very beautiful, which you are. And, uh, B, it requires you to be uh, somewhat naked. It's, it's, it's not that the, I want to see you naked necessarily or that it'll make the movie sell better. Although, let's face it, both of those are true. I really think that you need to be naked in order to sell the vulnerability of the character. It'll all be shot very tastefully, I assure you. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael, you will be playing the pompous asshole who everybody hates, the one who considers himself very, very intelligent, but when... Shit really hits the fan, makes incredibly stupid decisions. So now you don't look happy. You don't like your role? Too derivative? Too cliche ridden? Too fucking bad. Rusty! Rusty, you will be the malevolent little prick who thinks that his actions don't have consequences. It's a role you establish yourself playing quite, quite well in high school. In fact, Rusty, you played it so well, I'm counting on you to elicit the biggest cheer from the audience. When you die. <sighs> Warning everyone right now, you do not want to get involved with this one. She looks sweet. She acts sweet, too, most of the time, some of the time. I rest assured, this is a black widow. She will tell you she loves you. She will promise to support you. She will promise to be there for you. She will actually get you to believe it to the point where you expose a little bit of vulnerability. The second you do that... You may not know, recovering alcoholics now in their own baseball league. Double A, 
I'm an AA loser. Take it off. Okay, tell me that you love me. Fuck off. Ooh, you swore I'm telling mom. You sure about this, Paul? the building! Fuckers. I'm keeping this! Still wish we had kids, Kate? I see what we're missing out on? I wasn't ready. And you know what the difference is? I could admit that, unlike you, who could have to blame me. I'm looking for something to cover up the window. This will work. I don't give a fuck how it'll look. What would be stupid, Kate, would be sitting in front of an open window freezing my ass off. You don't have to look at it. It's not your house. Seventeen pages. Good work, everybody. Good work. Shall we?
David, it's Paul. Call me as soon as you get this. Sorry about that. Okay, David, look. You gotta come over here. Okay, calm down. Calm down. What's going on? I'm losing my fucking mind is what's going on. <laughs> okay. Dude, you're just going a little stir-crazy, that's all. What? What do you mean? David, I'm... Look, I've, I've read 17 pages, okay? And they're, uh, they're good. They're really good pages. <laughs> Dude, okay, 17 pages? That's not even a fucking short film. You gotta come over and open my fucking door, okay? Okay, it was your idea to lock yourself in, not mine. I... Fucking jump, I swear to God. I'll jump. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Fucking jump. You know who's gonna be there to catch you, Paul? No one. I mean, <laughs> you pale out on this, and it's over. I mean, how many second shots you think we get, huh? Okay. Just write the fucking thing. And when it's done, you call me. But in the meantime, you fucking suck it up. I hate you. You know what? I hate you. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you! Okay, I can live with that. I'm hanging up now. And stop telling people I'm gay. You and your boyfriend have a fight? Close the fucking door, housewife! Yeah, it's fresh. I just made it. Why are we here, Paul? Come on, you know. Why? So I, I, I noticed you were uh, writing a horror movie. I think that's just fantastic. What asked you? It speaks. Well, I hope for your sake it's a lot better than that other piece of shit you wrote. Piece of shit, yeah. That piece of shit got made, Michael. It got made and got theatrical distribution. The script you said was cliche ridden and derivative. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved to have seen the look on your face when you saw those billboards go up. You and your pathetic pretensions. You're traveling a little heavy there, Paul. Fuck you. Hey, buddy, you might want to make a phone call, you know? Get some help. Touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Stop. What? I'm not Just quit it, all right? Relax. Relax. Hey? You're not gonna cry, are you, Paula? It's okay. You can talk to me. I'm here. 
here for you. What? Just bleed. Oh, you want to go? Tough guy. <laughs> hey, over here. We won't bleed. I'm not touching. Stop. What did I touch you? What? Just fucking quit it, all right? Don't fucking push me. You're What the fuck was that? my mind. I know you are. What am I? I don't know what you are. Do you know how it ends? It hasn't come to me yet. Have you ever seen your prom, Rusty? Exactly. I had a crush on Grace Bolzer since the seventh grade. Five years of high In the senior year, I said, you know what? <clears throat> Fuck it. But I was going to ask her to go to the prom. You know what she said? She said yes. I knew that night was going to change my life. I wasn't going to be awkward anymore. I wasn't going to feel like I didn't fit in. That night, I was going to come into my own. And then 
what'd you do, Rusty? Remember? You ran out of the dance floor during the slow song with a bag full of dog shit. And you rubbed it on my hair, and on my face, and on my new suit. I mean, everybody laughed. I mean, it's funny, isn't it? The whole dog shit in the face thing? Classic. I mean, you thought it was funny, right? Fuck you, loser. Well, I didn't. Oh, don't do this, man. I'm sorry, okay? I'm fucking sorry, all right? Well, thank you, Rusty. That means a lot. But I'm still gonna kill you. Please don't. Please don't. Please, please don't fucking kill me. Why? Why? Nice writing, Tex. Clown. Wow, clown in a horror movie. No, that hasn't been done before. Oh, wait, you know what? It has. The death. It's funny. Laugh it up. Your time's coming. You're going to kill us, aren't you? It's just a screenplay. There's no truth to it. You just killed the guy who made your life a living hell in high school. You're right, what you know. And what you know the truth. Jesus, Paul, are you ever going to grow a backbone? Don't start. Why are you doing this? What? This. Why are you doing this, Paul? I'm a writer, okay? This is what I do, okay? I know you think it's some little indulgence or some hobby or something, but it's, it's what I do and what I need to do, so please. <sighs> Typical you. So answer me this. Are you writing this script to make your life better? Or are you writing it out of revenge? Oh. See, the funny thing about Killing two birds with one stone, Paul, is in the end, all you have are two dead birds. Wow. Okay, that is deep. I think I will, I will take that to heart. Especially since it came from you, who we both know is an expert at killing animals. It was an accident, Paul. Mm hmm You blame me for everything. For your dog, for your brother, for your pathetic life. <laughs> Ugh. 
Fuck you. If you know anything about writing a horror movie, you can't kill all of us. You need someone in the end to save the day. Really? Yeah. So do you know who it's going to be? so transparent. It's just sad. Sad. Greg didn't think it was sad. can end this, you know. Okay. But what if I can't? Well, either way, it shall be done. Wait, Jack, what do you mean either... do realize that we're all just figments of your imagination. And that the, the real Michael, he's out there living his life. He has no idea you're writing this thing, and he probably never will. Until he sees it. Come on, Paul, you and I both know this thing will never see the light of day. You haven't changed a bit, have you, Michael? How could I? I'm just a memory. I know why I'm here. It's because I said your last script was shit. There you go again, overestimating the power of your opinion. No, Michael, you're here because you were supposed to be my best friend. Did you encourage me? Support me? Celebrate with me when I had success? Huh? No. Not you. You're too fucking bitter. You're too fucking jealous. You're too fucking honest. You're shit. And that's why I'm here. I don't think you know what honesty is anymore, Paul. I can understand why you want to get rid of Kate. She wasn't there for you. She broke your trust. And as for your little calendar girl, well, she's just like all the others. She's so fucking pretty, but she has no use for you. And it make you feel pathetic. I would stop if I were you. But where's Jack, Paul? Where's Jack? Out of anyone, he fucked you best. Don't you fucking talk about Jack. You couldn't write a thing after Jack jumped out of that hotel window, so why isn't he here? It's enough. Why isn't he no, here? Why isn't he here? You were always jealous of why him. Why isn't he here? You were always jealous of him. It's not true. Why isn't he here? Is it because he's your baby brother? Or is it because you can't kill yourself twice? That's it. Is that the reason? Fucking finish. Yeah? What, you gonna write me out now, Paul? Because I'm just getting started. None of this is going to make a difference, you know. Nice fucking clown.
What did you do? Nothing happens here without you, Paul. It's all you. No, 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 no. I didn't want this. You have to I take responsibility I... for your life. I... This is your story. Your ending. Your no, choice. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Do this. I didn't. You. You could have prevented this. You. If you. But. That's life, Paul. I miss you. I'm gonna call you. For real, when I, when I get out of here. I'm gonna call you and then, and then we can. I'm so sorry.
this all night. I gotta go screw my buddy out of jail. Hey. Coming in. Hello? Buddy? You hear this? It's freedom. <laughs> you still sleeping? Paul? Oh. 